Hello and welcome to the new series on how to conduct listening experiments with Prat. So before we start learning how to create scripts, uh, it's better to talk about whether Prat is good for you, um, if it's appropriate for your experiments. So the arguments for Prat are that, uh, first of all, it is free. I normally, uh, if you work in acoustics, you already know how to download and um, you know the basics uh, and plus if you want to do simple experiments um, identification or discrimination uh, the scripts are very easy you don't even have to uh, know how to program um, C, Python or whatever you don't even have to program within Pratt the, the scripts are very easy we'll see here you've got a few lines less than 20 less than 40 lines and you only have to change um, the the values and then everything is really really simple however if you want to use videos um, images uh, as stimuli if you want something more intricate you need response time um, in that case I would suggest you try something more um, intricate so uh, for my PhD and for quite a few years I've been using FLX Lab um, you, you don't have to be a programmer the, the scripts are quite easy to understand you just need to read the, the manual and then you're going to be able to do what you need to do and then you've got uh, PyEPL which is uh, quite known in the, um, in the field and of course you've got this PsychoPy which is a very promising uh, piece of software um, I haven't tried it yet um, but I am going to and then uh, I'm probably going to um, create a series of tutorials on that so um, if you want to do something simple clean identification discrimination Pratt is the right software for you